I got something very special for my birthday. Can you guess what it is? But now I'm picking up big brown leaves for a new pet. I'm getting really big ones because it's a very big animal. I know you guys might be wondering what that animal is, but I'm not telling. I mean, I've already seen him, but I'm not telling you guys. Stallion White Sea Fog. Wait, wait, wait. You'll jump. Okay. I'm scared. Okay, let me help you. Okay, yeah. Don't let him jump out. Now, before we get the frog out of the carrying container I just want to show you this is a quarantine cage that we're going to use for the frog now we're using gravel there's some some sphagnum moss in the mixed in with the gravel that was entirely by accident we're using the gravel so that we can keep it clean um, so it will be easy to sterilize and keep clean there is a half of a coconut shell that he can hide in. There is a baby chefalera plant and just a little log to perch on. And Catherine has gone out and found some dried leaves that she's going to put in. 
Go ahead and put them in, Catherine. Don't crunch them up or anything. Oh. It's okay. Just put them in. No, Catherine is... I know my Catherine, and she's going to take her time and arrange them just the way that she thinks they ought to be. Don't put them on top of the little plant. Put them all in there. I think that should be enough. Put them all in. Or the rest. One like this so you can like hop like. Yeah. And go behind it. Can I make it a little bigger? Now we will in time in, I don't know, maybe a month, two months, we will build a bioactive terrarium for him complete with springtails and isopods and Maybe a bubbling fountain. I think that would be cool. A bubbling fountain? Don't you think that'd be nice? Uh-huh. Yeah. And I think that we will do that and we will show it all on YouTube. But for now, let's get the little frog. There he is. Wow, the frog skins are so weird. Now, being an amphibian, he has... Very delicate skin. You never pick up an amphibian if you have lotions or hand sanitizers or essential oils or anything on on your hands. And he has sticky toe pads. Yeah. Now he is dark brown because he is in a state of semi-stress. Like Catherine just said, he is scared. He's going to turn bright green. And he may even have some little snowflake dots on him. And I think that would be just wonderful and beautiful. And so there he is. But when you do pick up a frog, you want to make sure that your fingers are moistened. Let's just get a good look at him. There you go. I know the light. Oh, there, there we go. Look at that. We're going to leave him alone, okay? He's always starting to go okay. green on his legs, son. Let's put the lid on, okay? And we're just going to leave him alone for a few days. And then... It has like this bound lid with holding it in yeah. this field. 